and welcome back. This is Baller Scuba with another StarCraft 2 commentary. This is my opponent in the upcoming match. His name is Wee. He is ranked third in his gold division. He has 1,341 points with a record of 126 and 116. And here we are in the game. I have spawned as the Red Terran in the Northeast. We was a random player, but he has spawned as a blue Protoss in the Northwest. The map is Delta Quadrant. Um, I've always heard that there there can be such great uh, macro games on this map. I usually end up with a relatively short game, um, really because that that's that second expansion out here, most people call this the second, is so hard to defend um, that I usually get it third, but when people get it second and I can destroy it, then I usually win. We are seeing a pylon way out there um, for, for we. Um, that's probably a strategy that he keeps up no matter who he's going to be playing against, and it should supply lock him um, at least for a couple seconds here. Yeah, it does, and he is queuing up a couple probes on his base, and he is starting to chrono boost the Nexus. Um, I, on the other hand, am sending my first SUV, uh, well, not first SUV, but one of the ones that built the supply, the one that built, uh, the one that built the supply depot, English. Ugh, I struggle with it. I sent him out to scout, and of course I pick the absolute worst place to go. He is not there. Gateway coming up for we. I'm struggling with his name. I don't want to do it every time. We game my refinery up. Uh, he is still just working on the first gateway, and again, it's a little bit slower than mine, so he is a little bit late in his opener here. And here I go once again to the wrong spot. And his boat, his uh, probe does come into my base, and that also tr gives me a hint that he was that he went here first, or maybe he went to the wrong scouting place first, because the probe should be out faster than the SCV. Uh, but I was wrong; the probe uh, was just not scouting. So I am looks like I'm falling a little bit behind on my opener as well, not getting that second. Get, uh, second barracks up. He is going for a cybernetics core and two gas. So we're going to be some, going to be seeing some quick tech out of the random Protoss player. So I don't know what strategy that he is going for right now. Hopefully I can get into his base and find out what's going on. Second gateway is on the way. Cybernetics core almost done. And he has not been saving anything on the Nexus. He's been chrono boosting the probes out as soon as possible. And therefore, he does have a substantial lead in the Harvester count, a lead by five. Um, but of course, my mule is keeping me in this. I actually do have the lead in minerals, although he does have the lead in gas. So I go out there and I see the two gateways. I don't know if I saw the two refineries. Uh, yes, I did. So I should know that he is going for some kind of quick tech build. But no, it looks like he's going for four gates. So he did kind of fake me out. This, of course, isn't fully saturated. Neither one of these, it looks like, is fully saturated. Just two probes on each one. So it looks like he pulled a couple off, actually, because it was higher before. He is researching warp gate. Is he chrono boosting it? He is not. He... Well, doesn't have enough because he's used it on the probes this entire time. I am getting the three racks um, because, well, since he's going for the quick tech and I know where he is and it's a relatively short rushing distance uh, where we have spawned, I feel the need to go for a quick um, a, a quick harass here so I can try to get some damage done in his base, uh, maybe catch him off guard before that. Um, before he starts getting the tech that he was aiming for. But because he is not getting as much gas as I think, he's only got four guys there. Um, I've only got three guys on one geyser. Uh, so, you know, even though my... 
even though my gas is a little bit high, that is because I haven't started the upgrades at the engineering bay. I am researching the stim pack and the concussive shells, but this combat shield I you usually wait for. I should be getting the armor one, or sorry, weapons one upgrade any minute now. He is actually researching armor level 1, and he is chrono boosting it. That is strange. I don't know anybody to go for for armor first and then weapons. Um, just just kind of strange. I do have a substantial army here, at least um, I think it is. But not as big as his as he comes into my base here. I am completely unprepared because I was I'm a little bit behind on the upgrades especially. The concussive shells is done, but the stim pack is not done. Stim pack would help me greatly here. Here I'm like trying to tee these guys up even though these guys are running away. And I really should take this opportunity to start macroing up. Um you know, start switching maybe, but I am supply locked. Ah there we go. Um possibly get some Get some work done on um, taking up to, to, well, tech, uh, to mech, I believe it's called, um, when you get tanks, Thors, that, that sort of thing. He is now fully saturated on both those gas. I am up on gas as well. And, ah, double clicked it there. But no, I'm moving in for the attack here. And he doesn't quite see it yet. But he should have more than enough to clean this up because these guys. Uh, what am I going for here? It looks like I'm trying to focus down uh, this pylon here, and then he's he's doing a great job microing back. I am not doing a great job, and now I am starting to focus on this pylon here. I want it to die so that he cannot use these warp gates anymore, but the Cybernex core does live because of this pylon right there, and I did not realize that. Um, so really, I've cut his um, cut his uh, production down to just two gate, but he just quickly gets a pylon back up. I wasn't able to take out the army, and he does... No, I do have the lead in the units loss count. Continuing to get an army here, and I'm going to be going for an expansion? Yes, it looks like because I've been... Well, I, I haven't been falling that far behind in... Um, in the macro, you know, lower than you would want, but not as far behind as I thought. Um, especially considering that he's got a lot more to be spent. But of course, he can spend it a lot faster once those gate warp gates are up. And he is researching charge, so he wants those elves to take out my marauders. Um, because, well, he doesn't like my marauders. I can't say I blame him. Meanwhile, I am getting the armor upgrade, um, as well as a couple marauders, and I am going for the factory. This is probably ill-advised right now, uh, considering that he is continuing to get his ground army. I should stick with the marines and marauders, even though he does have... No, he no, he's just starting the weapons level 1 upgrade. He is going to chrono boost that. He only has the one armor upgrade. I, once again, don't know anybody that gets armor first. So here I go for another push. Once again, just don't. Wh why? Why? And he should have more than enough to clean this up. Um, you don't want to let those zealots past the ramp there, uh, because then they can get some surrounds on you. But once again, this is going to be more than enough to clean it up. Uh, and really, yeah, th there's really nothing I could do. I should have pulled back, really, and let my Marauder slow um, take care of the retreat. The automaton saw the whole thing, and it's scared out of its mind. It's running away. And here... I still don't have my first siege tank out. I do have a small army out front. I am getting a planetary fortress. We'll see if that plays a role in this game. We are seeing a transfer here. He's able to continually push out against what I have. I'm tr starting to mass repair the, the planetary fortress. He does run away once it comes up. It only gets one kill. Um, it does have a counter on it. That's awesome. Um, and here, I am absolutely screwed. There's nothing I can do. Reinforcements coming in. He's got 
plenty of resources left. A ton of gas, really too much gas, almost a thousand gas and only about 500 uh, minerals. He should be getting some sentries to help out with that. And I have no choice but to take all my SCVs off the line and try to take out these stalkers. Let's see how well they're doing there. I am doing some damage, but these SCVs are dying very, very quickly. Um, as you can see, I'm down to, what, 14? Uh, nothing, really. And so I have no choice but to GG. And that's the game. So, really interesting game. I actually called this, I should have macroed. Um, because I, I assumed that when I went for that second push in, uh, that's what told him that I had nothing left and that he should come in for the attack. And I'm only partially right when I say that. Uh, let's check the APM and yes, he does outdo me again. Um, but really what I should have done was either not go for the factory because he's stuck with the ground units. Uh, because I scared him in the ground unit. Uh, sticking with the upgrades, uh, he n he did finish the the one. So he's one one zero on his um, on his ground army uh, with a charge. I do have stim pack, concussive shells. I'm almost fully upgrade, I believe. Yeah, fully upgrade one one. Um, everything out of the tech clubs. So I really should have stuck with that and then maybe not have ta attacked got maybe um but I, I still shouldn't have attacked but considering that he was gonna have the ground army anyways um uh, maybe not, macro wasn't the best idea but then again he has nothing left in his base uh there's a couple things i could have done in this game and it was really my indecisive indecisiveness indecisiveness uh you know pr really going between the macro and um trying to finish uh the harass or slash you know winning the game that cost me um once i go for that first push and he's able to hold it off i should really just focus on defending what i have left uh going for expansions that kind of stuff or go all in and i really did both at the same time and that's probably what cost me even though i still have a ton of uh, minerals and uh, gas it just you know I, just, I wasn't able to spend it in time and i lost the game so i hope you guys enjoyed the game hope you laughed hope you learned hope to see you next time thanks for watching